Buddy, a former Hill House High School basketball player, is the latest victim of gun violence in New Haven. Danell Alec was shot several times early this morning on Diamond Street and died from his injuries. News 8 Sarah Welch has reaction from neighbors and one of his former basketball coaches. This is still an active crime scene some 20 hours after the fatal shooting. The crime tape and police presence a reminder of the violence residents say is unusual in this neighborhood. The gunfire outside 201 Diamond Street in the middle of the night woke up residents in the Beaver Hill neighborhood. Tyrell Reed lives just a few doors away. My brother and my mom did wake up to it and they told me it was loud bangs. Killed in the spray of bullets, 31-year-old Donnell Alec, a former Hill House High School basketball star. Hill House principal Kermit Carolina was his assistant basketball coach and mentor. He guided Alec and helped him overcome a troubled childhood to go on to attend Louisiana Tech where he played college ball. He was a leader, charismatic, uh, very intelligent. Uh, and had a great deal of potential. It was Alex's dream to play in the NBA. He left college one credit short to pursue that. When his dream fell short, he returned to New Haven where he found himself in trouble with the law. Carolina says Alex served a short time in jail for a nonviolent offense. But Carolina, who's also godfather to Alex's son, says Alex recognized the mistake he'd made. Just last week, Carolina says Alex was working on a paper to finally get his college degree. He wanted to be uh, the kind of man that his father, that his son, um, would, would, would admire and respect. And he spent a great deal of time in his son's school. His son's a middle schooler. The real issue here is the fact that a young man, a young boy lost his, son, his father. A young boy lost his father uh, today. And, and in, right now, there's a killer on the loose. Neighbors are also asking why. What would prompt this shooting on what they say is a normally quiet street? It's a good place to live. Like, don't get me wrong, stuff happens everywhere. It's New Haven. But, you know, stuff like this doesn't happen on a regular basis. We need to focus on uh, bringing, uh, j giving uh, Donnell justice, his, his, his son justice. Um, you know, this is a tragedy for this community, and it really re should remind all of us that, you know, of the dangers that we face in this community every day. If you have any clues to help solve this crime, you're asked to contact New Haven Police. On the scene in New Haven, Sarah Welch, News 8.